ba da ba 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 Alright, last time we tried this, the game had not fully loaded onto my PlayStation. So even though I got the key, I couldn't go through any doors. So we're just going to start again. Resident Evil. This is Resident Evil, the remaster remake HD thingamabob. Created by Shinji Mikami, who also did Resident Evil 4, The Evil Within, Resident Evil period, the, origi the original, the old, the PlayStation 1. Beat that again recently, and I still have a Mikami craving. So we're gonna play. We're gonna play this one. I wouldn't mind playing Resident Evil 4 again. I did that pretty recently, but uh, we're going classic, and we're going Jill. flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Hey, and we got a special guest in the form of a cat. Eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Hello, Wolf. How are you? We continued our search for the other members, and it turned, and into, it turned into a nightmare. A nightmare. I've played this before. Fred, have this I bought the gaming PC with the two dollars you gave me? Oh, I tried, but they they wanted more, like a, a lot more. The greedy bastards. Three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, 
Barry and myself. We don't know where Chris is. Hello, mansion, my old friend. What is this place? What is this? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. Don't open that door. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. Chris is our All old right. partner, you know. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. My favorite character wolf uh, in Resident Evil is Leon S. Kennedy. Second to that is Albert Wesker. <clears throat> and third to that is Barry Herbal Burbly Burton Erton. A dining room. But you know, Jill is uh, rising the ranks of my favorites. Spent a lot of time with Jill in Resident Evil 3 recently. And she's becoming a favorite. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Jill. See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Yeah, they changed all of Barry's dialogue in the remake, and I'm I understand why they did it, but <sighs> it's just not the same. Same old Barry, but th those lines were classic, man. Barry. Okay, good talk, Barry. And now, for video game history. The first Resident Evil zombie ever seen. Well, kind of. The remake of the first Resident Evil zombie ever seen. Fare thee well. Barry, oh Barry. Barry will take care of it. Barry has this. Barry! What is it? Look out, it's a monster! Let me take care of it. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Go report everything to the Darth Vader wannabe. <laughs> Says Fred. All right, I looked. Let's go around again. Here we go. Now it Barry. triggered. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. 
Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. What happened to Chill and Wesker? I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. Look at that. Took out Master of Unlocking, too. Gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Hi, Leland. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Why would she make better use of it, Barry? You're not going to say the icon iconic line? Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. All right, let's get the show on the road. So the first thing to do when playing a new Resident Evil game, or at least a Resident Evil game different from the other Resident Evil games, is to figure out where the hell they've moved all the buttons to. Now, left... Uh, L1 is aim, and R1 is fire. Okay. Simple enough, I suppose. too close. Still too close. Now I think I'm too far away. Oh no, I can get it. Boom. how to use this. He's down. Now, I know I went to all the trouble to break that thing, but I'm actually going to leave it there because I don't need it right now and I won't need it for a little while. And I don't feel like schlepping it all the way to an item box. Uh, 
Oh, Kenneth. Now, in the original game, he had ammo. In this game, he does not. One sec here. What the hell happened in this mansion indeed? So when I played Chris's campaign for the very first time ever playing this game, I didn't get the, the good ending. I got a different ending where we didn't save Rebecca uh, because there's a part in there's a part in that campaign where Rebecca screams and you're supposed to go help her. Uh, Could have sworn it, I never heard it, but uh, I guess I did. Uh, Oh, fuck off. So I didn't save Rebecca, so the mansion didn't blow up. Uh, so... We didn't... We didn't do it perfectly. So we're gonna try to make up for that here. And I'm already screwing up by taking a whole bunch of damage. Losing a bunch of healing items on nothing but bullshit. Oh, fuck off. Alright, we're already fucking up. I did this so well the last time, too. But I don't want to leave any, uh... I don't want to leave any crimson heads, so I don't want to kill these guys. This is still a gorgeous game. I believe this is a much improved version of Resident Evil, as much as I will always love the original. Collider Video Collapsed says... Uh, Mercer? Mercer Create, I think that is? What is Collider Video? And how did it collapse? closer to me because it's hard for me to read this stuff. Uh, they used to have Movie Talk, Jedi Council, Heroes, shows about current movie trends. Oh, was this a, uh, this was a, uh, something on the internet? 
yesterday they canned all these shows and fired everyone and then talked smack about all of them. Oh wow. Holy crap. Am I even hitting this fuckface? Oh, it's a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. playing a girl you won't do well haha -ha. <laughs> I know you're kidding um, now if you're playing Jill you're not gonna have a, a good day man Jill always has a bad day I, uh, <clears throat> I did not see cats. No, I did not. All right, we got a key. fucker out now. Hooray, my favorite RE character, the Jill Sandwich, says LJ7117. She is, uh, she has become one of my favorite characters as well. I liked Jill well enough, but she was never really a favorite, uh, but I've really been getting into Resident Evil 3 recently, and now she's a favorite. I think Jill is badass. In BTTF, how did the Marty that we follow through most of the film merge with the Marty that grew up with the confident parents? Yeah, something about it just doesn't affect them. Time travel doesn't affect the people in the DeLorean somehow, and we just have to live with it. Some of these things you just have to roll with. <sighs> but obviously there is a version of Marty that grew up with more confident parents. No, apparently not. He still has all the memories of the of the old past. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense, but uh Again, it's something you just kind of have to shake hands with the with the writers and let them do their thing. I want to know how the hell, if time travel is dependent on you driving 88 miles an hour and then ending up in a different time, I want to know how the hell anyone survives. Because if you... If you were in a car and you drove 88 miles an hour, and then the car ended up decades in the past, you would be in the vacuum of space. You would not be in the same place you were because, you know, the Earth moves. It moves a lot. Oh, 
some of these things you just kind of have to give them license to make a fantasy. Jill unlocked the door. She is the master of unlocking after all. Damn right. Not a movie, but the best time travel media I've seen is the anime Stein Steins Gate. Oh, interesting. Interesting. The best time travel movie is Star Trek IV. They just don't care if they change the timeline. <laughs> Star Trek IV was a good one. It certainly was. Try to get this done fast. Try to get this done fast. Try to get this done fast. Yeah, I know, you don't like me being out here. I'm going to try to leave as soon as I can. Spock was damn good in that movie, I agree. Let's get the... F let's GTFO, GTFO, GTFO. Okay, the dogs didn't give us that much grief. Now, since we're playing Jill's campaign, we should be able to get the shotgun now. And, as I say, they changed Barry's lines in this, so we're not going to get the Jill sandwich, but we'll get the closest we can get. I believe I shall begin by making use of this map. I love that line! Ah, oh, there's so many good lines in Star Trek IV. Clubber Lang never fought Apollo. That is true. Let's have ourselves a sandwich. Why is it not triggering? Why is it not triggering? Oh god. I was actually I was actually really nervous there for a second. It goes down Let's a little go. differently in this Barry, than it does help. in the original. Jill! You in there? Barry, Need to try to up opening Barry, both doors. Yes, I'm door so glad down. I tried that. Stand back! Barry will fix it. He has Grab this. My hand. All right. Oh, that was a good TNG episode, uh, Mercer. Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find it's other clues? It's not the same, man. I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. All right. I really need a I really want a sandwich now. The girl always needs to be saved. Sad but true, Mercer. Sad but true. Except in uh, Revelations. Jill really held her own in that one. Do I like Cobra Kai? I saw the first episode. It seemed pretty interesting, but um, I didn't keep up with it, I'm sorry to say. Oh, shit. Hey, get off me! Shit. 
shithead. Yeah, he ain't down. I always forget the zombies can climb stairs now. Barry, what are you doing here? LOL. Dunno. Nothing suspicious. K by. Yes. Yes. Certainly nothing, uh, nothing shady. It's not his fault, though. He has a family. Yes, the save room music here is uh, particularly good. Man, I'm just going through health healing items like a bastard. Did I like the movie Ex Machina? I, I did not see it, I'm sorry to say. I'm sure as shit not leaving a zombie to become the Crimson Head outside of this room. So I'm gonna go take care of him. Oh no, wait, I can't do that right now, can I? Because I don't think I have the lighter. Favorite movie of 2019? Mine was Marriage Story. Excellent movie. My favorite movie of 2019 was Joker. I thought that was a fine film. I will definitely tell you, uh, Mercer, uh, your thoughts if I see the film. A two-person movie, that's interesting. Joker was pretty damn great. Okay, let's see if we can burn this bastard, but I don't think we can because I don't think we have the lighter. Jill has the, ma the she's the master of unlocking, so she's got the lockpick. <sighs> okay, I think I know where the lighter is. The question is, will we arrive in time? <sighs> Shit, I'm boxed in. Fuck off! Damn you! There's nothing you can do when you get when they get you behind like from behind like that. This is not my best run when it comes to conserving healing items. Son of a bitch. You mean we can't just pour kerosene on a zombie and make it explode? Damn realism, I know, right? No shit. It's about an employee of a Google-like company who goes to his boss's lab where he is testing a robot to see if it has actual artificial intelligence. Hey, now you're speaking my language here. Sounds like my cup of tea. Hey, headshot! That was pure skill. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, shit. Holy shit. When in doubt, shotgun blast to the face. And I was in doubt. Let's take this damn thing. So I started out trying to play conservatively, and I ended up uh, not playing conservatively at all. I 
Alright, we got the dog whistle. I already know this. We got some more ammo, so that's good. Did I play Ghostbusters Remastered PS4? No, I did not. I wasn't a big fan of the of the PS3 game, I have to say. Netflix film about a couple by Scarlett, played by Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver going through a divorce. Oh, and it's on Netflix. Oh, cool. I will see if I can check that out. Here's a lighter. Now, what do you say we go burn every single fucker we took down out here? Oh, that actually sounds like a very interesting film. I'm going to check that out if I can. Now, you don't want crimson heads all over the place. Wait, did these bodies just disappear? Hello, Lamb Porpoise. How are ya? I killed two zombies out here. Did they just disappear? Oh, hey, look at that. I think we're in luck. I think Moff Gideon is the best Star Wars villain since Kren... Krennic? I don't know who any of those people are. Oh, the guy from Rogue One! Oh, okay, no, I did not remember his name. Yeah, he was all right. Moff Gideon is from Mandalorian. I have not seen that, but I'm going to I'm going to give it another try. Yeah, okay. We're out of kerosene now, so better be careful. No crimson heads today, douchebags. The guy's good at playing douche. Hey, knock, uh, no, what I was actually here. Jinx, you owe me a soda. Ship out of danger. How far did it get to the Mandalorian? I saw, I saw the first couple of episodes. It wasn't really doing much for me. Um, I've told the story before, so uh, forgive me if I'm repeating myself. Uh, a friend of mine had overheard that I watched The Mandalorian and that I didn't like it too much. And he said, uh, let me guess, you're watching it like a Star Wars show. I was like, well, yeah, it is a Star Wars show. And he said, he said, don't watch it like a Star Wars show, watch it like a Western. And I played the tape back in my mind of the first two episodes I had seen, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, I can see that working that way. Um... Absolutely, I'll give it another try. So, watching it through that lens, I think I might like it a little bit better. We shall see. Don't spoil the end of The Mandalorian. Has the scene in the last shot of great importance to those of us who watched... The Clone Wars and Rebels. Oh, okay. I didn't watch either of those. Definitely works as a western. Yeah, I can see how I can see how it would be better as as that genre than as as a Star Wars. Star Wars has never done the space western thing before. They've always just done science fantasy. So I didn't. It didn't occur to me to to watch it that way. But um, but I will. I was confused about the Mandalorian. I just thought it was the new. Back to the Future movie, The Man and His DeLorean. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I didn't know what a Mandalorian was. So that was like a high. Is this like a hybrid of a man and a DeLorean? I said exactly the same thing. That's hilarious. Whoops. Yeah, I'm going to give it another go.
Barry. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. <sighs> it's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. Now how are acid shells a can of fizz? Fucking Barry. Oh, I worry. have this. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Ciao. John Favreau is kind of hit or miss. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Oh, shit. Hope that wasn't actually hurting me. I like Favreau, but uh, he's, uh, he's really been churning out some crap lately. That guy was a tad spongy. I think he's still alive. Or, you know, alive-ish. What's it gonna take, a fucking shotgun blast to the face? I think he's still up. Oh no, I see blood. No, he's down. Liked The Force Awakens, Last Jedi, and Rogue One. Didn't like so at all, Solo at all, and my mind kind of ejected Rise of Skywalker. I know I saw it, but I can't say I remember much of it. Um, I liked them all, except Rise of Skywalker. That get, that movie was uh, pretty obviously bad, if I must say so myself. Or if I do say so myself, and I, I suppose I do. Any kerosene in here? Because I just left a whole bunch of deadies. The Last of Us 2? Yeah, I probably will. I, I didn't like The Last of Us 1, but nothing saying I won't like the sequel. Yes, refill. I thought Solo was fine. Force Awakens doesn't work as a standalone film. Well, none of the sequels are going to work as a standalone film. They're sequels. They 
they're very specific kind of sequels too. It's not like Terminator Two. I don't think you need to be. I don't I think you actually need to watch Terminator One to understand Terminator Two. But uh, the Force Awakens depended on uh, your having seen the original trilogy. That was kind of its whole thing. Yes, I am going to watch Picard. Uh, in my opinion, Star Trek Picard is already terrible, uh, and the onus is on them to prove otherwise. Uh, because what they've done with Star Trek thus far... Um, at this point, we can pretty much just assume it's terrible. <laughs> And again, it, it's up to them to prove that it's not going going to be. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Um, A New Hope, or, you know, the first Star Wars film, uh, that's really the only one that works fairly well as a standalone. Probably need to take a trip back to the item box after this. We shall see. Oh no, I won't, because I got the, uh... Now I always screw this up and die. So maybe I should have saved. But I didn't. Holy shit! Thing got up in like two seconds. Okay, I did better than I usually do. Oh no. I, uh... I didn't get rid of the dog whistle. Oh. Whoops. Oh, yes. How many times have I played each of the RE games? Wow, that's a... Holy hell, I'd have to search... Let me search the old memory banks here. This, I don't, couldn't even tell you. I've played this game so many times. Um, I know I've played... Uh, uh, Resident Evil 4. <sighs> Probably 30 times. Um... I'll just say the ones that I've played so many times I can't count. This i played so many times I can't count. Uh, the PS1 era Resident Evil 1 and 2 I've played so many times I can't count. 4 I stopped counting at 30. I've played 5 quite a few times. I've played 6 4 times for some reason. Uh, 7 I, I lost count. Resident Evil Zero, I played once. Uh, Code Veronica, I've played three times. All right, Mercer, thanks for showing up. It was good to have you. I'm out of ammo now. Holy hell. Now what door haven't I opened yet? Lord of the Ring Trilogy is better than sequel trilogy, says Mercer. And I agree. I, I thought, I mean, here's, here's the interesting thing about the sequel trilogy. Oh, it's still locked. Okay. Um, I'm in a weird position. 
so the prequel trilogy was just atrocious. It's not even worth thinking about. I don't count it. Um, as I say, it set a. It really did set a new low for just films in general. Uh, the original trilogy is an absolute masterpiece. Uh, changed movies forever. Wonderful trilogy. This is the first trilogy where I feel the first two films were good, and then the last film just fell on its fucking face and ass at the same time. Uh, so with the original trilogy, I love it. With the prequel trilogy, I just very naturally don't count it and don't think about it anymore. Uh, with the sequel trilogy, I'm in a bit of a spot. The Rise of Skywalker was atrocious, but the first two were pretty good. I don't know where to put that film. I don't know where to put The Rise of Skywalker. I have no idea what to do with it. I am stumped. Oh, that's cool, Adrian. Uh, what, what game did you get? you like the idea of Nintendo possibly getting two more Wii U ports? I do, because the Wii U is like a beta version of the Switch, and I much prefer the Switch, even though I have Switch Lite. Um, I'm not aware of that uh, uh, decision by Nintendo, but I think uh, there were a lot of good games on the Wii U from what I hear, and I think people would like to play them, and most people have a Switch now, so uh, I, I'm all for it. Is this the guy that makes stand and stand? No, that is my brother. I'm the guy that makes uh, the whole world sing. Dis Disgake one complete for Switch. A tactical JRPG. Kick ass. I hope it's good. Hope you like it. Trying to kick that vape habit. Yes, I think you mentioned that before, and I, I I wish you well. I hope it's going well. I think there's still a fuck face in here. Yeah, there's a fuck face in here. And I'm pretty sure that that door over there is where I need to be, so let's do this first. Ain't no crimson heads where we're going. I made sure of that. No, I'm sorry. No, there's one. There's one automatic one. Fuck, I forgot about the automatic one. Son of a fuck whore. Tell your brother to make more videos on religious documentaries. I enjoy them. Oh, he did do that, didn't he? And I think I enjoyed that, too. But I, I don't think there are enough religious documentaries. I And I think that's kind of niche, isn't it? Well, no, that's not true. He, I think he talked about Expelled, and if he didn't, he should. Uh, he talked about that um, Bill Maher thing. No, there's enough. There's enough. Damn. Damn. Shit. Yeah, I think the I think the sequels could have been a lot worse too, except for the the atrocious last one. I, I can't imagine how that could have been worse, but uh, they were most they were mostly good. He talked about Hell House. I guess there are more than I'm uh, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna th do this? If Nintendo releases new hardware this year to compete with Sony and Microsoft, that new Switch needs to have better storage options than 32. <laughs> yes, I uh, I can almost guarantee you they're not gonna release new hardware for another couple of years. The Switch is doing just fine. I don't think they need to release new hardware. And I don't, I don't think they think they need to release new hardware.
Okay, I have I have the semblance of a plan. I believe that Empire is the best of the Star Wars films. For the record. Yes, George Lucas famously once said that he thinks Empire is the worst Star Wars film, but I'm still a little bit on the fence as to whether or not I think he was joking. If you actually read the the interview um, that has the quote, I don't I don't know that he was being totally serious. If if he was, that's that's fine. It's his prerogative, I guess. Oh God. Somehow he went right through me. I don't know how, but oh my god. I did not know that's where that let out. Whew. If I had any money, I would bet money. He just wanted a hug. There you go. If I had any money, I would bet money that Nintendo was not going to release new hardware anytime soon. They'll do. They'll release it when they need to. I'm just going to go ahead and store these because I don't need these right now. Crimson wants all the hugs. Yes, they were designed for hugs. Like the Xenomorph of Alien. That one wanted a face hug. Whoops. <sighs> My brother is coming to visit tomorrow. And I was thinking about maybe he and I... Uh, getting on mic and having some kind of a conversation about something and I've been trying to think of what it is and then I remembered I really loved the film the film Joker I was I was impressed by it I was I liked it I think it's a very very good film uh, and my brother didn't like it at all and I thought that could be an entertaining topic for discussion so I'm thinking about it uh, we live about four hours away from each other Where I want to go? Yes, this is where I want to go. There are a few people in the chat that are having a, a heated debate about um, stand what films count as standalone films, and I'm I'm gonna stay out of it. I'm just not gonna put my ore in because I'm not very good at arguing and I get very nervous and I would probably have some kind of I don't know I would get the shakes Yeah, I hear you, you damn crows. Speaking of crows, who wants to watch me stream Bloodborne? I think I might stream Bloodborne next. I haven't played it in about two years. And kind of, I'm kind of having a re-hankering for it. Bloodborne, hey, alright, I got an enthusiastic yes from one person. I'm actually not that bad at it. I was very surprised. 
Uh oh. We got an Indiana Jones trap here. It's like, what do I do? Here, have a fake. It's a fake. Thought you were gonna do Bayonetta. Well, I was gonna try Bayonetta, but I can't stream Bayonetta because that's a that's a Switch exclusive. Well, that's a Nintendo exclusive now, and Nintendo does not allow for uh, native streaming. Does Gabriel like films you dislike and vice versa? Because I'd imagine Gabriel disliking Aquaman as well. He he wasn't crazy about Aquaman. I, I'm okay with that. Aquaman is just kind of a, a silly entertainment film and it didn't work for him. That's that's okay. Um, we don't usually have a lot of fundamental disagreements about movies or television. Or video games, really. I mean, even if we don't like a certain video game, it's usually fine. We don't usually argue about it or anything. Uh, we have absolutely the the opposite taste in music. I just think it's taste in music. I can't even really consider it. I'm not even sure that it counts enough as taste in music <laughs> to, to, to count, but uh, that's, how, that's, that's the divide there. Music is the thing we disagree about the most. Bayonetta isn't an exclusive. It's also on the PC. I know, but I don't have a PC. I wish I did. I wish two dollars went further in 2020 than it as it than it did in uh, the oldie days. Gabe likes Rise of Skywalker. Yes, he did. That's fine. That's fine. But I am baffled. That would be wonderful. The Joker film is a movie uh, with themes of anarchy, mental illness, and so society class issues hidden behind a comic book character movie. Yes, it is. Uh, in other words, it's a it's a fine film dealing with a lot of ideas and subtext and themes and uh, everything that should go into a good movie. Rob a Best Buy, they deserve it. <laughs> well, I would if I was if I uh, counted myself as any kind of thief, but I'd be caught in a second. I'm just gonna go around unlocking doors now. You know, I always I always suspected that Jill's campaign was a little bit easier than Chris's campaign, but I always wondered if it actually was or if I was just imagining things. But I think it actually is. Master of Unlocking Simulator 2020, there you go. I'm going to do all the unlocking. So you just stay home during the purge? Yeah, I don't think I would. I, I don't think I would last very long in a purge. I can't run very fast. I don't do very well under stress. And I'm sh I'm completely useless with a firearm, so far as I know. I've never actually held one. What mic am I using? I'm using this bu very bulky headset that I got a couple of years ago. And it's not very good, as you can hear. We'll just open it. There we go. Yay, we got a first aid spray. I wish they would put uh, Vanquished on the PS4, but they haven't. Is it Vanquish or Vanquished? I don't remember. I wonder if Gabriel would like Parasite, the Japanese version of Joker. By the way, Joker should be uh, the declared film of the decade, not The Dark Knight Rises or Avengers Endgame or Civil War. Uh, 
Yes, I think it is considered that, though. I don't think anybody would consider The Dark Knight Rises to be uh, the film of the decade. Try indie games for once, please. Oh, I, you know, I'm so disappointed. I was playing a couple, and then I don't have the, the PC anymore. I have loads of uh, indie games on Steam uh, that I can't stream uh, very easily, if at all. But I got a couple on here. I was going to do Soma, and I was going to do Amnesia the Dark Descent, because I love both of those. I'll, I'll try to do a couple. Um, um, um. All right, I'm going to store this. Uh, might go do the plant now. I'll store this. The Harley Quinn movie is not in the Joker movie universe. Yeah, the Joker movie, so far as I know, isn't in the... Uh, it's not in the whatever DCEU thing they did, or at least they used to do. Hoop. Joker did not get in my top 10 of the year. Oh, wow. Interesting. It made my uh, best of 2019, but that comes with the qualifier that I didn't get to see very many movies this year. But you know, it was a, I thought it was a good, uh, good quality film. Kind of done with Batman right now. I sort of have Batman fatigue. DC has a whole. DC as a whole is sort of playing catch up with Marvel. Yeah, they were trying. They were failing miserably. But I'm, I'm actually kind of glad that they're focusing on. Uh, characters other than Batman and Superman, which is what they've always done, pretty much all they've ever done. And now they can do some different things. Captain America is better than Captain Marvel, just my two cents. I agree. Vanquish is on Steam. I know. I know. But I have that. I have that. I don't have a PC right now problem. Yes, I know. I know. We can go. I haven't had ammo in a good long while. You gotta do Midsummer 2019. Is that a video game? If so, I have not heard of that one. Barry! Oh, it's a movie. Oh, okay. Harry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. Uh, you know what? Let's actually reach, read this. A letter is slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is legible. Alma, I have tried to serve... No, you know what? I'm actually not going to read this. This is too long. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part, and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. All right, let's continue. One of my favorite movie reviewers, Ralph the Movie Maker, just released his Joker review. Would have to watch that later. I like film. I like film snobbery. <laughs> That's awesome. You like? Uh, you should check out. Um, it's a very old film critic, but you should check out John Simon. He was born a snob. He lived a snob, and he's still fucking alive. He's like in his 90s, I think. It's unbelievable. John Simon will never die. Uh, what are you talking about, Dan? Don't you remember DC's wonderful non-Batman or Superman outing Catwoman from 2004? You know, oddly enough, I don't remember that movie. And I saw that movie. I remember Halle Berry... Uh... Crawling around on the ceiling, I think. 
And that's about it. That that movie evacuated my consciousness, man. Uh, no. Let me put this back and let me do some uh, inventory shenanigans. Parasite is such a bizarre flick. I wanted to kill the entire family who were bilking the rich people. Hmm. I don't know how would you how you would bilk rich people. By definition, they usually have more than enough. Parasite. Interesting. I, I, I don't know the context. I never heard of that movie. It's funny because you think DC would be on top of everything and Marvel would be dead, but now it's completely the reverse, at least when it comes to the movies. Yes, uh, D Marvel has done very well in film, and DC has done well in just about every medium but film. Well, that, that, yeah, I say that. That used to be true. They've been doing a lot better lately. I thought Wonder Woman was a wonderful film, and Aquaman, it's kind of up there with Ragnarok. I think Ragnarok was a better entertainment film than Aquaman, but man, I love Aquaman as entertainment. Catwoman is amazingly bad. I I don't remember. Glass is the first movie I saw last year. I thought that was good. Didn't see that one. I thought about it, but I didn't see the. There's it's it combines two other uh, Shyamalan films, and I only saw one of them, so I'd have to see the other one, and I wasn't really in the mood for that. You know how it is. Do you remember when I said you kind of look like another YouTuber named Dave the Usher? I think he's probably more musco than you are because that dude was jacked. No, I do not remember that, I'm sorry to say. I get told a lot of things by a lot of people, and it's very difficult to, uh, uh, to retain what individual is saying what, and I'm very, very sorry to say that. It's just, there's a lot of people that, that talk to me. Uh, Dave the Usher. I'll have to. I'll have to check that out. I always wonder what it would be like to have somebody that looks exactly like me, other than my fuckface shithead brother. Captain Marvel failed. Um, not from the demographics I've seen. <laughs> Parasites is a Korean flick about classified, an Asian tale of two. Si oh. Wow, well, that sounds like that sounds like a very interesting film. You really have to see *Parasite*. The poor family excelled at fraud and mean spiriting. Oh, you guys are you guys are piquing my interest now. Wait a minute, there was a there was a hook I was supposed to get. I thought. Justice League was really disappointing. Man, Justice League was freaking ungodly. That was a really bad movie. Holy shit, was that bad. I've never... Yes, I know that. I've never had an issue with this puzzle before. There we go. Yes, a hook. Ha-ha. Humble brag. There's a lot of people that talk to me. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Th th there's a lot of people that used to talk to me. <laughs> like when I was doing the when I was doing the movie review things, um, I I got mail. I got mail, and um, I think this person was talking about those days. But um, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was talking about recently. I also have I have a problem with it. I'm not very good with names, and. Um, I, I just I just suck. Okay, this now that's lure, 
And this is a regular bug. So I think we got it. Yes! Success! Oh, screw off, you damn bee. In terms of films from last year, I'd highly recommend Marriage Story, Booksmart, Parasite, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Uncut Gems. So many people have been recommending Marriage Story and Uncut Gems, and I'm, I really look forward to them. I'd still recommend Scary Scores, Stories to Tell in the Dark if you're in for some semi-light horror fare. Yeah, I don't know, man. I get pretty scared pretty easily. And that's just about the kind of thing that could fuck me up. But we shall see. Alright, now I'm actually going to need some ammo pretty soon. The Great Gatsby is my favorite film of the decade, but I like Joker even more than that film. Oh, you like The Great Gatsby that much? Oh, that's cool. That was made from my uh, favorite filmmaker. Um, and even I didn't like it that much, but uh, that's cool. That's cool. I'm glad you liked it. That uh, makes me happy. Now, where the f... I remember where the rest of these keys are, but I don't know how I'm going to get over there without any damn ammo. I'm trying to think of where there's some more. I would have gotten more out of looking at my foot for two hours than watching class, says LJ. Well, you, this person really didn't like that movie. Uh... Yeah... Yeah, I know Scary Stories. I believe that was done by Guillermo, Guillermo del... Gosh, I can't, I can't speak tonight. Guillermo del Toro. And that in itself... Oh, shit. Would usually be enough for me to, uh, to check it out. But when I was a kid, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark actually scared me. And I don't know if that would be true today in film form. It would be a risk. Oh my gosh, how many doors are there? Trying to get some of these out of my damn inventory. Del Toro of the PlayStation game Destra. I thought that was him! I thought that was him! I had been meaning to ask my brother so many times if that was Guillermo Del Toro. I knew that was him. Or is that a joke and it's just somebody who looks and sounds like Guillermo Del Toro, so we're all calling him that. Too many doors. 7 out of 10. <laughs> no, Too Many Doors is uh, Silent Hill. Guillermo Del Toro is one of my favorite directors. He is really original with his stuff. Oh, it's him. Okay, I, f I knew that was him. Um, I like Guillermo. I uh, I like Guillermo del Toro, even though I've only liked a couple of his films, because he never makes the same kind of film. He makes all kinds of different films. He just makes the films that he wants to make, and I really like him for that. No. Okay, so we're looking for a green head thing, purple necklace, orange bracelet. actually own a couple of his films. I'll tell you, Pan's Labyrinth is still one of my favorite films of all time. I thought it was a wonderful film. Zack Snyder probably made the most disappointing film property involving Batman and Superman of the decade, and spoiler, it ain't freaking justice. <laughs> yeah, uh, I agree with that. It, it very much disappointed the fuck shit out of me. I had just become a DC fan when Batman v Superman came out too. 
I can watch past Pan's Labyrinth any day of the week. It's in my top five, no question. It is as it is in mine. I'm oh, I'm so glad. Glad to hear that. Necklace. Okay, so that's right. Nope, we don't need to press that. All that remains is this one. There we go. Okay, so green head thing, purple necklace, orange bracelet. This should be okay. We should be not eaten by crows. Hooray! And now we open up a shortcut. And we got a mask. Probably my fourth favorite film of all time, followed by Wolf Children, Logan, and finally, A Silent Voice, my absolute fave. Some of those I've seen. I really liked Logan. I own all his Spanish language films, Hellboy, Hellboy 2, and Blade 2. That is really cool. I did not see Blade 2. I think I saw one of the Hellblades. If you like Pan Labyr if you liked Pan's Labyrinth, should watch The Devil's Backbone. Okay, I will try to keep that in mind. Death Mask is a death mask without a mouth. Okay. Haha, -ha, here we go. You should do a top ten of the decade. <laughs> oh man, so, uh, like five people this week have told me that to do a top five of the decade. I I I I appreciate that people want to know. I can't remember what came out last week, let alone let, let alone the decade. No matter no matter what I would say, I think I would always I would get it just a little bit wrong. <laughs> Because I would forget something, or I would probably say something that was in the wrong decade, or... <sighs> I'll consider it, but it might take a while. Man of Steel deserves an apology from you, Daniel. It was downright amazing compared to BVS and Justice League, because it ignored the shared universe crap like Joker did. BVS and J.O. ruined it, though. I will, I will say this. I will go this far and no farther. Man of Steel was better than Batman v Superman, and it was better than Justice League. Wikipedia is your friend. They list movies by... I know. I know. I know. I'm, I'm kind of half kidding. I just, man, that would be time-consuming, sifting through all that and weighing my emotions. But we'll see. Yes, Del Toro did not like uh, the the translations of, of uh, one of his films in particular so much that uh, he said people probably shouldn't watch it. And when he did the Pan's Labyrinth uh, translation, he did that himself because he's bilingual, so it all sounded the way it should sound. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth was the I used to be kind of uh, kind of against watching films with subtitles because again they're always kind of done a little bit wrong. But um, he I was able to watch Pan's Labyrinth just fine. I watched uh, Death Note with the subtitles just fine. And, um, I, I think I might have been wrong about that, and I'm gonna try to, uh... Uh, gonna try to experiment with subtitles a little bit more. There was a, a film that somebody recommended to me, uh, way back, called Run Lola Run, that was fantastic. And I don't think it was translated perfectly, but it was good enough. You could still tell that the movie was absolutely wonderful. And I really would have missed out if I hadn't watched it because of the subtitling. Oh, you son of a bitch.
I used to not watch subtitled films, but both Pan's Labyrinth and Old Boy changed my perspective. Yes, it's, uh, Pan's Labyrinth changed my perspective on that as well. I have not seen Old Boy, I'm sorry to say. I wouldn't experiment with the American Death Note. I would experiment with the American Death Note the way I would experiment with fucking... I was going to say something really dark. I'm not going to do that. But the American Death Note was just abysmal. Yeah, I watched uh, uh, the American Death Note too, and... Um, oh boy. Not only was it not a good movie, I don't even know how it would make very much sense to people who hadn't seen the anime. Or read the, the you know, the, uh, what was it, a manga? Manga? I never know how to pronounce those things. I think it would have been downright unintelligible. I'll never get it right. I'll never get it right. Manga. Thank you. Manga. Oh my god. It's so funny. These This area never really gave me much trouble before, and there was an area back there that had never really given me all that much trouble either. Local weeb trash is here to save the day. <laughs> Why, thank you. Why, thank you, my friend. I need all the help I can get. Did I beat the RE2 remake? I beat it. I platinum trophied it. I speed ran it. I played the shit out of it. It is my second favorite Resident Evil game now. Oh yeah, I have to press a button, don't I? I can read some Spanish, but I still need subtitles to help. Yes, I'm not very good with, uh... I'm not even really good with the English language. Ta-da! Oh yeah, so I don't know how many of you in the room right now are Doctor Who fans. Um, I was, it was really, I got, a, I had a really hard time watching uh, the previous season of Doctor Who. But I always have a hard time when they introduce a new Doctor, and especially when you have a new Doctor and a new showrunner at the same time. It can be uh, quite a daunting task. So I wasn't, I wasn't all that crazy about last season, but no, no more so than... Uh, as I say, any new Doctor being introduced. Um, this new season, they just did a two-parter. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. It's picking up steam for me. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. Oh, the original dialogue for this guy was just... It was just Shakespeare. Big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? Well, that's your You're fault, isn't it? it. Terrible demon. <laughs> Man, I wish I could stream the originals. That would be a really good time to stream for you guys. All right, let's go get in the serum. You can actually save Richard in this one. You can't in the original. And if you save him in this one, he will give you a combat shotgun later. Ouch! <laughs> oh, oh, that's wonderful. 
pure poetry. Oh shit, I forgot about this motherfucker. Damn it. PS1 era voice acting is the highest echelon of garbage and I love it. Me too. And Resident Evil actually made the Guinness Book of World Records for worst worst voice acting in the history of video games. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Because that's what set Resident Evil on the road to being just wonderful, delicious camp. Fuck off. You're actually timed on this, but I think we're going to make it okay. I really, really want to save Richard. Because I really want that shotgun. Hello, Rave. And you know, I just remembered where there is ammo. Goes pretty well. I think we saved Richard. Hang in there. Here's my radio. Take it. I'm... <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? <laughs> Did we save him? <sighs> I'm okay. Yay! The others... Been playing a lot of Elder Scrolls and Fallout lately. Excellent choices, my friend. I love those. Uh, I love those franchises, both of them. Damn, I think there's a fuck face in here too, though. Yeah, there is. I've never gone this long without ammo. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. Been very interested in the Elder Scrolls lore. Lots of awesome stuff. Yeah, it's, it is some deep lore, man. Even I don't know the ins and outs. Did my mom and dad know how famous I am? <laughs> uh, I don't think they quite see it that way. They know I, they know I do stuff on the internet. Okay, I didn't bring the lighter in here, so we can't get everything, but, uh... We have at least some bullets. My father pops into the room occasionally. Okay, now we can get past... Fuckface downstairs. And then after that, I'm probably going to have to get going because i got to have something to eat. Reinstalled Sp Fallout 4 specifically on Steam. I played Fallout 4 again pretty recently. I really like that game. Pan's Life was a more gothic version of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, well, it was it was uh, based on 
you know, old, you know, fairy tales. And, um, it split up the real world and the fantasy world. And made the monsters in the real world scarier than the monsters in the fantasy world. We have a poultry bit of ammo, and it's not enough to get me into the room where you can get the magnum, but it's enough to take care of this shithead. Another similar film was Coraline. I've heard good things about Coraline, haven't had a chance to see it. If you're a huge Fallout fan, enjoy LMLP. I highly recommend reading fan fanfic Fallout Equestria. It's extremely well written, too. I might take you up on that, but I haven't, as I think I've said before, I haven't seen uh, the My Little Pony show in ages. I think it's about been about seven years. Yes, discard the damn thing. Finally. Can't remember what's in here. Oh, yeah, this. Oh, we get a defensive item in here. Very nice. Now pick up the pick up the knife. Pick up the knife. You silly goose. There we go. Alright, I got ten in the chamber. Is that enough to get us through to the plant room? Oh shit, I forgot about this. Uh, this guy we can just leave walking around in here. He's not going to bother us for the most part. Come on, shamble on over. I am not wasting my bullets on you. Coraline often switch between a fantasy world and Coraline's real life. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I've, I, that's been recommended to me a few times. I'll, I'll probably check it out. Uh, the book has been recommended to me more than the film has, but... Maybe I'll try both. Who wants to play the piano? Code Veronica is awesome and deserves a remake. I agree with that second part. They should definitely remake games that are fucking awful and could do better with a remake. Hardy har. Contention, contention. Oh, that's right, this one has a page missing. I'm joking, of course. I'm glad you like Code Veronica. Alright, I'm gonna need a storage box. I don't think there... there's anything in here. I'm gonna try to go do the plant. But Resident Evil Code Veronica is awesome. That's not an opinion, but fact. Man, oh man, I got that completely wrong. I thought it was fuck awful and terribly designed and borderline never playtested. But that just shows how wrong I am. Damn, there's a crimson head in here now. RE3 is going to be out in April, yes. I wouldn't blame any of those three characters for going bat shit insane uh Jonathan yes I can't argue with the objective facts I tried but it didn't work 
Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I, I did like the Ashford twins, I must admit. There's some, there are some things that I liked about Code Veronica, if I'm being honest, but... Man, not much. Not much. There's no such thing as an objective opinion. Uh, he's he, uh, he's just kidding around. <laughs> I um, you're you're right though. There is no such thing as an objective opinion. I should know because I stepped in the cow manure of that mistake many a time when I was younger. <laughs> Damn it. That's okay, he can stay up there. Oh, you're enjoying Shen Shenmue 3, I'm glad to hear. Who was who Mahler? I should save, but I'm too proud. But am I actually really too proud to not bring any healing items with me? That's not proud, that's just stupid. Oh, I got a green herb. I'll be fine. Fuck it. Oh, hey, look at this. I forgot to get the battery for my taser. That would have come in handy like a million times. I've never heard of this person that you guys are talking about. Well, I I can't play Resident Evil without doing Itchy Tasty, but that's going to let this guy out of the out of the thing and then we'll have to Oh, we'll get some shotgun shells. Keeper's Diary. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from Security and Steve from Research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw a pig, when I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's leg and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12th, 1998. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin is getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me, at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. May 13th, 1998. 
Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14th, 1998. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th, 1998. Rumors going round that the researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th, 1998. Fever gone but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. May 21st, 1998. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four, slash, slash. Itchy, tasty. The end. Oh, it's not shotgun shells in this one, it's another battery pack. Well, you can fuck off. You can fuck off. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, uh, Rave, I don't know why the, work, the links don't work on here. Oh, I thought there was a fuck face in here. Uh, let me go get the thing real quick. Oh, what the fuck? Damn it, I was reading the chat and I just came back all the way around here. Son of a bitch. Um, yeah, I'll take care of this fuck face. I'm gonna have to find some kerosene, though. You wonder if you should do a stream of Shenmue. I say, listen to your heart. Uh, what the hell was I doing? What the hell was I coming out here to do? Oh, I remember. I don't know if I should ask you about your opinions on the Resident Evil films. My opinions on the Resident Evil films are quite strong. I've never seen them. They are not very good. I've heard they're not very good, but um, kind of have to take everyone's word for that. Can I access the image on my phone? I'm not sure. They're not films, they're a series of moving images that have music in them. <laughs> And recorded dialogue in quotes. Yes, I have I haven't seen them myself. <sighs> Did I get a regular job? And that is why I stopped making reviews. No, I always had a regular job, even when I was making the reviews. The reviews were just for fun.
the reviews were never, ever, ever intended to be anything more than just a thing that I did in my spare time for fun. Dan works for the film industry. If I worked for the film industry, I would either make it loads better or I would just bring it down from the inside to put it out of its misery. This game's gonna make me make a fucking crimson head up here. Get away from me! No crimson head, cause no head. No head equals no crimson head. That was pure, that was pure skill. I wrote an entire outline of how I would have written the Rise of Skywalker. Can I send it to you on the Facebook fan page? Sure! I value your opinion. Is you're as good as anyone else? Better than Siskel and Ebert? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, my friend, but I thank you. Uh, yes, Rave, you can also send it over Facebook. I'm just gonna store the mask for now. I'll put them back, uh, when I'm done here. All right, Rave, I certainly will. I love this game. Thank you very much, uh... Eric Quin... Eric Tendo? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. That... that's very nice. Thank you, I appreciate that. Tendo! Okay. Thank you. I could probably look at it now because it's an image that's true, but we're doing we're doing zo the zombie dance. Got to keep my eyes on the prize. Eric Tendo, gotcha. Let's go kill a plant. He did the dance. He did the zombie dance. The zombie dance. It was a Spencer smash. Dance does not rhyme with smash. Daniel sucks. Hang on. Okay, we want to do red. Not gr- ow. We want to do gr red. We don't want to do green. It does feel weird to be in 2020. Okay, we got... A lot of healing items to schlep.
And now we will never have to come back here again. And we have healing items for days. No, I do not have a proper PC, I'm sorry to say. Go to hell, go to hell, go to hell, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. was the last time I went to Vegas? I'm not so sure I've ever been to Vegas. I've been, I went to Reno a few times. Didn't really do much there. I'm trying to think of where this damn last key is. Oh, you know what? I think I know where it is. I think I know where it is. Went to Vegas with a girlfriend for New Year's and it rocked. I'm so glad to hear that, Jacob. That's awesome. And we could get in that way. We could get we could get in uh, around that corner there, but I'm not gonna. Hang on. Yeah, there's a crimson fuck in there. I'm not messing around with that noise. I'll take the long way around. Do I think the file and an MLP make an interesting converse, uh, combination? Certainly it does sound interesting. My soul just hurts having to uninstall RE0 and remake to save computer space. Oh, that is sad, man. That is sad, sad, sad. Hang on. Let me see if I can activate, if I can make this work. Yep. Freaky ass sound. I would say the Resident Evil films are probably the most successful video game movies in terms of box office, office, office success. Yes, technically they are. They did very well financially. Sure, you can give me my synopsis, or your synopsis there. The hype for the Resident Evil 3 remake seems astronomical. I'm excited about it. I have recently become a big fan of Resident Evil 3. I didn't give it much of the time of day. For the most part. And I've been playing the crap out of it recently, and I've been loving it. So it's going to be interesting. I don't have the same nostalgic... Uh, hype for the Resident Evil 3 remake that I did for 2, because I, I, I've been playing 2 since forever. But uh, I'm really interested to see what they're going to do with it. I love 3. And I hope I love the remake. Eyes, nose, and mouth. Yes, box office success does not automatically mean that the that the thing is good. That is certainly true. Uh, 
Alright, he's just about out of there. Now I'm pretty sure I know where the final key is. But I'm also pretty sure there might be a big baddie waiting. Oh, that sounds cute, Rave. Actually. Capcom, how many costumes? Jill, yes. <laughs> I think it's a little bit bullshit that uh, we have to... Um... Yay, I found it. Uh, we have to the, the the original outfit, impractical as it was, is locked behind uh, pre-order shenanigans. That's a little fucky. In my humble opinion. It's going to give us a bad day. Haha! -ha, my animation trumps your animation. Oh shit! Not that time it didn't. We have the grenade launcher. And now... I believe I am going to make this my stopping point. Jill and Barry finding forest was one of the emotional parts uh, portions of Jill's game. Yes, it um, uh, it can go down a little differently in both versions of this depending on how you play. I didn't know this, but there's a way that you can play uh, the original Resident Evil where you can just completely fuck it up, just completely balls it up, and Barry will end up dying at the end. That that really surprised me. I had no idea Barry could die. But I, uh, there was one, I guess I was, I was just being impatient, or I, uh, I, I don't know what the hell happened, but I, I didn't wait for him to bring me the rope, and if you don't wait for him to bring you the rope, he will be dead in the end. That really surprised me. Oh, that sounds like a, like a, a pretty cute little story there, Rave. Yes, I will use the ink ribbon. Pretty neat. Okay. This is my stopping point because I gotta have something to eat. I have to pee like a crazy person. 
and it's getting a little late. So thank you all for watching this, the Jill's campaign, part one. It's going pretty well, going pretty well. Uh, we will finish up the masks and whatnot tomorrow and uh, deal with fuckface and get a little further and have a little more fun. Everybody have a great night. I will see you all later.